Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. Voice acting plays an important role in video games. It's hard to imagine some games to have the same impact if it wasn't for their incredible voice track. In this video, we are very excited to show you what can be the future of voice acting for games, or at the very least, an awesome alternative to hiring voice actors. Replica Studios is an application that gives us access to cutting-edge AI voice technology for games and films. Basically, we can choose an AI voice actor from their vast library that has their own personality and accent and then make him or her say whatever we want. Listen to this. I will conquer the world and crush my enemies. Then, let's fight for honor and glory. That's incredible. Now, of course, a real voice actor can achieve better results than what we just heard. However, not every creator has the budget to hire a full cast of voice actors. Replica has made it incredibly easy to rapidly produce great voice lines for your games at a fraction of the cost of a real actor. It's cheaper than a voice actor, more flexible since you can change the script or the voice itself in just a couple of clicks, and incredibly faster since there will be no backs and forths between you and the voice actor. So you can either use Replica's voice actors for your end game results, or you could use them to create placeholder voice acting while you prototype your game before hiring real actors. AI voices are still at the cutting edge of technology and the real potential hasn't been fully explored yet. The voices are just going to get better and better as time goes by. All right, so let me show you how easy it is to use Replica and how it integrates beautifully with Unity. So just click on the first link in the description and create yourself an account. Not only is this completely free, but you also get 30 minutes of free voice credits when you first sign up. And thanks to a special Blackthorn Prod 60 referral codes, you'll get an extra 30 free minutes. This is an awesome deal, but note that this special code will expire in three months from now, so don't wait too long. Once you signed in, just go through the installation process for either Mac or Windows, depending on what you're on. All right, so now I'm in the Replica app, and the first thing I'm going to do is to set up the Unity plugin. This will let us import our voice sequences directly into our project with the click of a single button. So I'm going to click on this downloads link and it will bring us to this web page where we can scroll down and download the Unity plugin. Once this file has been installed, just drag and drop it inside of the packages folder in your game projects. With that done, we can now open up our package manager in our projects. Now we'll click on this plus button and choose add package from tarball. Then just navigate to this project's packages folder and select the package we just installed. All right, the connection has now been established between Replica and our Unity projects. And we can verify that with this connected message in the Replica app. Okay, so we created this simple little scene with these three characters. So we've got an old wise mage, an evil dwarf warrior, and an elf cleric. Now let's go ahead and create some AI voices so that our characters can have a nice dialogue together. So instead of Replica Studios, we're going to be focusing on this project section. So I'm going to create a new project by clicking on this button right here that I'll call it RPG Project. Now let's click on our newly created project to open it up. Basically, we're going to be able to cast the different AI voice characters into specific roles. Then we simply create different script lines and select the appropriate actor for each one. Within a few minutes, we'll be able to listen to our entire scene and then export it all into Unity and go from there. So I'm going to click on this button to create my first character, which will be my mage. Now let's click on the cast now button. It's going to open up this window that contains the entire library of AI voice actors we can use to play this character. So for each AI actor, we can hear a little demo of their voice by clicking on the play button here. Hi, I'm Amber. I have an American accent and I'm great for voiceovers. So now we just need to find a voice that goes well with our character and we can use these filters to help us out with that. So our character is a male and he is also a senior, so I'll select those filters. We have now four different AI voices that we can choose from, so let's listen to this first one called Atlas. Yes. Well. One might think you're needlessly throwing yourself into battle when you could instead have a conversation with this King Aaron. Oh, I like him and I think he fits very well our character. So let's choose him by clicking on this cast button. So now our mage character will be played by the AI voice actor called Atlas. Let's create another character, this time for our evil dwarf barbarian. So 
So I'm going to click cast now and this time we will choose a male who is middle aged. Now I like to help myself with the AI actor's avatar image. It helps me get an idea of what he'll sound like. So for example, Ethar right here looks pretty mean, which is what we're looking for. So let's have a listen. My master is pleased with your progress. Let me show you your reward and the fruits of your labor. Okay, that's pretty good, but he doesn't feel evil and angry enough. Now, what I think is incredible with Replica is that for many AI voice actors, they come with different voice styles. So I can click on Ethar's profile and I'll see that he comes with three style samples. So there is the sinister one, which is the one we listen to, but he also has this angry one. So let's listen to that. I will have your head for this insolence boy. Gods, take him away and throw him in the deepest depths of hell. Now that's what I'm talking about. That is exactly what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and cast Ether Hazard Dwarf. Finally, let's make our elf cleric character. I went ahead and chose Freya. I like her personality and she will make for a great elf cleric voice. The Black Soul Stone contains thousands of demonic souls. It's evil. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Okay, so now that we've got our three characters ready, it's time to write some scripts. So I'm going to click on this button to create a new scene that I'll call Reunited. Now let's click on our newly created Reunited scene to open it up. So for my first line, it's going to be my elf character that is going to be speaking. And I'll choose her light-hearted style. So I've prepared in advance my script, so I'm going to paste in her first line and let's press play. Well, hello, old friends. It's been a long time that I haven't seen you. I see that you have been drinking a little too much ale, dwarf. Okay, that's sounding really good. Now, another incredible feature of Replica is that we can actually direct, which means that we can modify how our actor is pronouncing certain words. So I'm going to go ahead and press on this direct button. So in here, we can add silence moments in our phrases, and we can modify the volume, speech rate, and pitch of specific words. So I want to emphasize the last two words. So I'm going to highlight them both and increase the volume slightly, as well as slow down the speech rate a bit. We can now press play and see the changes. Well, hello, old friends. It's been a long time that I haven't seen you. I see that you have been drinking a little too much ale, dwarf. All right, I'm happy with that result. So I can now click on this create take button and then find it down here and select it. All right, so then we'll just click here to create a new line. And so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and have some fun creating my little dialogue scene and I'll see you once I'm done. All right, let's listen to why created. Well, hello, old friends. It's been a long time that I haven't seen you. I see that you've been drinking a little too much ale. Dwarf. At least I've been fighting and protecting my people while you've been praying all day. Stop arguing, both of you. We have much bigger problems to deal with. He is right. The ogres have come too close to our land. It is time we face them. So I've heard. We need to act fast before it's too late. Well, let's have a last good night's sleep. We will get going tomorrow at sunrise. I really love it, and this just took me a couple of minutes to make, and it was completely free thanks to the free credits that you get when signing up. Now, you can have a look at how much credits you have left up here, and if you're interested in buying some more, you can do so by clicking on this link. The prices are very good. I mean, 4 hours of voice acting for only $24, that's a great deal. Okay, so now we're going to export these sound files into Unity by just clicking on this download icon on the top right corner of your screen and then choosing Export Scene as WAV to Unity. And right enough, if you open up your Unity project, you'll see that it created a folder called Replica and inside of it, we will find our six voice lines. That was really fast and simple to do. Okay, so let's integrate our dialogue to our Unity scene. So I'm going to create a new empty game object called Dialog. Once it's been created, I'll add to it a audio source component. And let's uncheck the Play on Awake option. Next, we'll create and add to this object a new c -sharp script called Dialog. Let's now double click on it to open it up. I'm going to start off by creating a public array of audio clips that I'll call Audio Clips. This array will contain our six voice lines arranged in the correct order that we want to play them. 
we will also make a audio source variable called source. And then inside of the start function, we'll set it to be equal to the audio source component that is attached to our game object. Let's now make a IEnumerator coroutine called play dialog. In here, I'm going to create a for loop that will continue to loop as long as i is less than our audio clips.length. So in here, we'll set our source.clip, so the clip we want to play, to be equal to our audio clips array with an index of i. Once we have chosen our clip, we'll actually play it by saying source.play. It's as simple as that. Now we want to wait until the duration of the clip has passed before looping again and playing the next clip. So I'll say yield return new wait for seconds, and then inside of the parentheses, I'll put audio source with an index of i dot length. Okay, and that's all we need to make it work. Okay, so now let's save the script and go back to Unity. In here, I'll lock the inspector and drag and drop all six of my audio clips into this array. Okay, let's press play and enjoy our AI voice acting dialogue. Hello, old friends. It's been a long time that I haven't seen you. I see that you've been drinking a little too much elm. Dwarf. At least I've been fighting and protecting my people, while you've been praying all day. Stop arguing, both of you. We have much bigger problems to deal with. He is right. The ogres have come too close to our land. It is time we face them. So I've heard. We need to act fast, before it's too late. Well, let's have a last good night's sleep. We will get going tomorrow at sunrise. All right, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw the power of Replica and how it might help you in your future game projects. I know for a fact that me and Noah will be using Replica. Again, if you want to try Replica out for yourself, head over to replicastudios.com or click on the link in the description and create yourself a free account and you'll also get one hour of free credits if you use the code in the description. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you soon. Cheers.